While I love Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, it is absolutely my favorite Dragon Ball game to play right now, it isn't the best experience on the Steam Deck. It needed 60 frames per second to run at full speed, and anything lower could cause the game to slow to a crawl. Luckily, there is a way around it, and it makes the game so much better to play on the Steam Deck. So in this video, I'm going to go over how to lower the frame rate for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero without slowing it down, and the settings I'm currently using for this change. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that like and subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as our next video goes live. And a quick thank you to Jerk48 on Twitter for alerting us to this fix. The game is hard-coded to run at 60 frames per second, which means all the logic in the game is set to 60. If we try to lower the frame rate to, let's say, 40 frames per second, the game will slow to a crawl. But with this fix, we're going to be able to change the game's logic frame rate, making it possible to bring it down without slowing the entire game down. To do this, we're going to need to paste a set of commands into the game's engine.ini file. The code that you're going to be pasting is going to be in the description to this video, as well as our written guide on our website. First, let's head to desktop mode. From there, you'll have to go into the Steam Steam app folder. Then, go into your compact data, find the corresponding folder for Sparking Zero, which matches the game's app ID. Then, find your way to the engine.ini through the local app data folder. The exact file location is actually going to be in our video description, so you can just copy paste that into your Dolphin search bar. Once here, open the engine.ini and scroll all the way down. You will then just copy and paste the code at the bottom and save the file. If you want to try pushing the game to 45 or 50, or go lower to 30, all you have to do is change the three sets of numbers to the same frame rate you want to play at. And there you go! You should be able to play Dragon Ball Sparking Zero at a lower frame rate without any slowdown. Make sure when you play to change your CMOS frame rate and refresh rate as well so you can match the frame rate you change for the smoothest experience. Personally, I found myself really enjoying 40 frames per second with higher quality settings. Right now I'm playing with a resolution scale of 75 and almost all medium settings across the board, with some lowered to mitigate random spikes. I was able to almost completely stay at 40, with only one moment I noticed dipping down to 37. I did keep the TDP limit off just in case, but this is something I plan to play with a little bit more. Overall, this is a significantly better way to experience the game portably. I do wish online was working, but that is something I could see fixed in the future. For now, this is easily the best way to experience the game, and I am really glad we were able to change the logic. Thank you again to Jerk48 on Twitter for alerting us to this fix. We appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as our next video goes live. And a big thank you to our patrons. You guys are awesome. See you next time.